What's up guys, long time no see. If you watched my last video, I started a new character on the first day of Velodera and was one of the top players for the first 7 or so hours before I had to go. While on non-PVP it wasn't that big of a deal, in case a retro hardcore world or even a normal hardcore world ever does come out again, it's going to be crucial to be ahead of the curve. And while I did very good for it being the first day of a new server, I could have done much better. I wasted a lot of time just trying to figure out where to go and not actually doing any hunting. So that's why today I'm going to show you guys my optimized strategy of what to do on a new server, so that way you can be number one to SDs or UE and keep yourself from getting PK'd by anyone higher than you. Oh, and while I'm part of this video my character isn't on Voucher, you should definitely save at least one day of Voucher for a new server. So first off, I apologize to anyone that saw my last video because this one is going to be a bit similar, but I've literally perfected everything, even the order you should run through these Dawnport statues, which if you didn't catch it, you want to start at the Paladin and go counterclockwise until you reach the Druid. This way you can pop down south and immediately kill something for 10 gold, buy a shovel, and then head over to the Paladin hunting grounds, which is less of a walk for a Druid than a Sorcerer. Just remember to change your vocation before you leave for main. If you have a better spot in Dawnport you like to rush, then by all means go for it, but I still prefer the Goblin and Dwarf Cave. Now here's where I made my first mistake by going to Port Hope. When you reach level 8, head to Venor. You're going to do a quest while getting a Dwarven pickaxe so you can have some starting cash to PG with. Talk to Boozer above the depot and ask him for a mission. Now head into the Venor Temple, go to the Adventurer's Guild, and teleport to Kazardun by saying Hi, Service, Yes, Kazardun. Now that you're in Kazardun, rush the mines for a Dwarven pickaxe. Don't worry about the quest you're on, you can finish it on the way back once you've secured your way into Yalahar. I'll show you a couple pickaxes you can get without having to fight any Dwarf soldiers, which are here and here. If those are taken and you need more, you can view some on the Tibia Wiki Dwarven Pickaxe page. Now that you have a Dwarven Pickaxe, head back into Kazardun and before heading to the temple, head northwest and up the stairs. There's a lot of dwarves here, but you should be fine just rushing the cask. Fill the bottle in your inventory at the cask and then rush back to the temple. Then teleport to Venor and give Boozer the bottle and now he'll give you 1k and a light shovel. Head back into the temple again, Teleport to Port Hope and hand in your Dwarven pickaxe to Angus at the Explorer Society. Now you need to head back to the temple again, and this time teleport to Edron. Run to the Edron Magic Academy and ask Weirden for a mission. You can now enter Yalahar. Use your fifth teleport in the temple and head to the boat to Yalahar in Liberty Bay. It's going to cost you 400 GP, but you did the light shovel quest so you can afford it. You are now in Yalahar. First thing I would do now is make Yalahar your hometown just in case anything goes wrong and you end up dying. Next, buy some food and head over to the Minotaurs in the Foreign Quarter. Now you can start gaining experience while building up a loot bag for potions. I don't have a set amount of time you should hunt here for. Personally, I would keep your bag kind of hidden and hunt here until either someone else crashes you or you build up 5k, but it's up to you. Just keep selling the items at Morple and you'll have a big cash stack in no time. So now you should be at least level 13 because I'm assuming you used a voucher, so buy your level 13 Wander Rod from the shop for 1k, as many potions as you can carry, and head over to the Yalahar Cemetery. If you're a sorcerer, grab Apprentice's Strike and Light Healing from Tamaril the Dragonlord, or if you're a druid, grab the same two spells from Tamara the Barbarian Lady. So now you've reached the cemetery. You have a few options here. You can PG hard with the cash you saved up from Minotaurs, or you can save cash and wand most monsters and Exori Min Flam occasionally. I would hunt the west side, and if you chose the PGing route, Spam Exori Min Flam for great experience and magic level training, or you can save your money and wand the skeletons and Min Flam the ghouls if you have to before they hit you. It's better to use spells to kill a ghoul quicker than it is to let the ghoul hit you and you have to heal back up. So now you should be around level 15. You can grab the Flame Strike and Ice Strike spell for 1.6k if you have a lot of money to spend on leveling, or you can continue to hunt the Min Flam way to 20. If you followed this guide closely so far, you'll be one of the first to level 20, so you can either set up a group for the 10k quest or keep hunting while others catch up, but that's your next goal. Remember, you have one free teleport left in the Adventurer's Guild you can use to get to Venor for the 10k quest. So once you do the 10k quest, it's time to PG for real. Head back to Yalahar and cap as many potions as you can, but leave yourself at least 20 or 30 cap for gold. Now you're going to hunt mutated humans. I prefer getting there through the south, but you can also start up north by the cemetery. Hunt the ground floor and you should be getting a lot of experience and a lot of money back for potions. I wouldn't recommend going upstairs yet if you're alone here until around level 25. If the ground floor isn't enough, the underground area to the far north is the safest to hunt in my opinion. The southern one is pretty dangerous so I would avoid it. 
By now, you should be level 25 and comfortable hunting the mutated human spawn. If more people came to hunt, then you can go upstairs. Just be very careful when you first go up, because if it hasn't been cleared yet, you can lure up the three mutated humans, two mercury blobs, and one mutated rat all in one pull by accident. So finally, once you reach level 30 and magic level 30, you should begin to break even or profit here. We're coming up to the end of this guide, and I know that was probably a lot of information to take in, but this is important stuff to know the next time a new server ever comes out if you want to be ahead. Getting to this point on Voucher should only take you about 5-7 to seven hours, but we all know the race still continues from there. I would recommend staying at Mutated Humans until around 33 and then heading to Earth Elementals and Edron, but at this point there are so many different spawns you could go to. Experiment and find what works for you. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe as I'm adding new videos every week. I'm planning on making some higher level hunting spawn videos as well as branching out into some other vocations. If you have a suggestion for what you'd like to see next, let me know. I'm always open to new ideas. See you guys next time.